Today on Zestology, we are looking at oral biohacking, which may sound a bit weird, but don't worry, don't be scared off. This is the podcast all about energy, vitality and motivation. I'm Tony Wrighton and Dr. Hisham's mantra is look better, feel better, be better. And all that kind of starts in the mouth. And I think, you know, it's probably worth referencing. I think in the title of this podcast, I'm going to talk about seven minutes of joy because he talked about that quite a bit on this podcast. And you're probably thinking, what is seven minutes of joy? Well, you'll find out in this podcast, I was sceptical and I am sceptical, to be honest. But Dr. Hisham kind of wins me round by the end. And I recorded this a few days ago. And since then, I've been trying his seven minutes of joy. And I did seven minutes of joy this morning. I mean, if I'm completely upfront with you, it was probably about three and a half minutes, but it was very joyful. We start off by talking about general biohacks that Dr. Hisham uses in his garden to start his day. And then we move on to teeth and his system as well, his oral biohacking system. And then uh, the amazing and unusual hacks that you should do every day for your teeth and the things you should never do so there's some stuff about his system there's some stuff that's completely free and you just kind of you, you should just be doing and there's one or two things that you hear in the kind of the natural health world all the time is really good for you and he's like just don't do that it's not a good idea dr hisham is a terrific bloke his system is uh well i'm i'm one round I had three and a half minutes of joy today. It might not have been seven, but I'm working up to that. And as I say, we start off talking about uh, general biohacks. So here he is, Dr. Hisham on Zestology. So you have a paddling pool. It's a paddling pool in the garden. No, an inflatable pool, just a inflatable pool, a round inflatable pool. You can't oh, like a proper it. pool. It's, not, like a, it's yeah. not a paddling pool. It's like a baby pool. It's a, it's a big. It's, exactly, it's, it's an adult baby. pool. It's, it's a spa, basically. It's literally an inflatable spa. That's what it is. It takes. Yeah, two, three do you know what? Spa. They're they're big. They're big. They're somewhere yeah. in London. Yeah. These, these inflatable spas. They sound pretty cool. But how do you ozone? And, and you get in every morning. What time do you get in in the morning? Depending on what time I actually get out of bed, and because my, my first thing is going to the bathroom and doing my internal cleansing, as, as we'll talk now, my holistic oral care system. It's actually yeah. a parasympathetic activation and semi-meditation. It's the beginning of my meditation is in the bathroom, actually. With the okay, yeah. With my system. So you do that and, and then you and get outside. The and then jump into the pool, yeah. And then do my, okay. uh, my morning prayer and then jump into the pool just for five minutes, basically. <clears throat> and the ozone is bubbling through the water. It's How do you ozone? So you ozonate it. What is, what is this machine? Ozone, what does it do? Ozone is O3. So oxygen is O2, ozone is O3. It's a very strong disinfectant, very strong immune, very strong oxidizing agent, very strong immune modulator. So you can inject it, you can drink it. Breathing it is, is not very good as a gas because it's an irritant to the lungs, but in solution, in water, basically, it's totally fine and fantastic. So it's either injected okay. if you have... <clears throat> so it makes the water more healthy for you to jump into. Absolutely. Wow. That's why my skin is so glowing, can't you tell? It's beautiful. It really is, guys. <laughs> I thought this when I when we last met in person. This, this that man's beautiful skin is just oh, so incredible. <laughs> so, so you spent five minutes. Makes you pretty, my the, friend. The, Makes you pretty. Good. It sure does. Yeah. Um, what with that and your great teeth, you're doing well. Oh, but you, um, okay, so you do that and then you're just ready to go. The ozonated water. Five minutes in there, and okay. um, that's cool. And you yeah, walk in and it's great freezing morning. cold. Yeah. Well, not freezing. It's about. 10 degrees, 10 to 12 degrees, but that feels freezing, feels cold. Sit in there, just splash the water around on your face, everything else just wakes you up and you start, you start to feel the heat by the, by the second, third minute, you start to feel the heat coming from within and then you yeah. get up, stand up, even though it's, it's colder these mornings, we're getting into our winter now, it, you stand up and like, whoa, I'm not cold at all. And you get out of that, dry yourself, put your clothes on and you actually, you, you feel yourself sweating because your body, your mitochondria now have, have decoupled. So instead of producing ATP, now they're producing heat from within and, and that decoupling is quite important. This is a whole different discussion, obviously, <laughs> from the oral health discussion with, with mitochondrial yeah. uncoupling uh, that, that 
every now and then just it's, it's an interesting into start though because obviously yeah. you're into i know you're into a lot of stuff and when we oh, met a lot of stuff you're, like you're, healing you're, like therapy yeah your passion absolutely shines through and obviously it's really it's really interesting to be able to focus on the mouth and yes. um dental work as well and uh, making things as, as healthy as possible in the mouth our son has been using his baby toothpaste that you gave us um, baby se- teeth serum, serum and we've you. been using the adult teeth serum ever since you gave it to us. Um, and, um, and I love the powder as well. It's just, it's I'm, I'm a total convert. You put the powder on the toothbrush cause it's tooth whitening, isn't it? It is. Um, but it also t- it's a very, very minty kind of fresh and taste. You feel in that, mouth, that, which is, that deep cleanse that happens yeah, with it's it. Really, it's very, very nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And I've, I've only just started, I've been using the serum for quite a long time, but I've only just started using the powder. Does that, I mean, how teeth whitening is it? Because, you know, in the, in the unhealthy old days, I used to use those teeth whitening strips. I dread to think what's on them. I wouldn't use them now, but they work pretty well. Um, will, will your um, powder work as well? It works on two things. It works on removing stains, sort of external stains, and oxidizing whatever is is left on there. So it doesn't whiten through the enamel, so it doesn't actually penetrate through uh, the enamel of the teeth. By the way, you, you cannot whiten dentine, and if, if anyone doesn't know what enamel and dentine are, enamel is that supposedly that white <laughs> shell that you see outside until we wear it off with acids and abrasives and, and all that stuff, as we'll talk soon. And hopefully we don't, because we want to stop that. And dentine is what's underneath it that should never ever be exposed either through decay, fracture, wear of enamel, or recession of gums and, and bones, and all, all these things I just mentioned are what exposes dentine, which is the core of the tooth underneath the enamel and up the roots. That okay. you cannot whiten. It's yellow by default. It looks like bone. It's, it is actually like bone under a microscope, and it's very porous, and it should never be exposed. So gums and bones covering the roots, all the dentine, and enamel, if, if, if somebody's seen the video, you will see it, what I'm doing now, but if, if you're not, it's basically that white, white stuff on the outside, which is 90, 98% mineral. It's the strongest substance that any animal uh, can, can make, basically. And it lasts yeah. forever. Literally, not metaphorically, it lasts forever. The only thing that can dissolve it is acid and or abrasives. So you can't penetrate through that with, uh, with a lot of products, basically. So that's why we sometimes use the hydrogen peroxide liquids or, or gels basically uh, to, to penetrate a little bit deeper to cause a bit more whitening inside the enamel so my powder does not penetrate through the enamel yeah good however yeah, yeah. from outside which is mostly what the stains are uh, and where they come from is from food and drinks and coffees and wines and whatever basically people are yeah. doing and how long should i how often should i use that powder <clears throat> it, it its main function is not as a whitening that's a side benefit yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can use it every day because I, I quite like it. I'd like thank to you. brush yeah. my teeth with it. Yeah, yeah. thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's nice. So everything that I make has to have all benefits, no side effects at all. All side benefits add, added up. Every ingredient is there for a purpose, for a reason. Otherwise, it shouldn't be there. There's no such thing as, uh, I'll, nothing is in there for my product to be, to be okay. It's for you, yeah. the user, well, for me yeah, initially because yeah, I made yeah, it for myself. Yeah, my daughter. Yeah. So... The, the main function of that powder is, as it says, organic dental detox, tooth whitening powder. So it, the main thing is, is a detox. It's a deep cleanse. It's oxidizing. It's destabilizing for, for plaque. Um, obviously, when I said oxidizing, I mean oxidizing specifically anaerobic bacteria and fungus, which is also anaerobic, because those are those anaerobes, the, the, micro, well, the microbes, whether, like I said, yeast, candida yeah. and or the bad bacteria that we hate are usually the ones that do not use oxygen they don't like oxygen they anaerobically ferment the fermentation produces acids acids dissolve teeth acids or anaerobic bacteria under the gum line cause gum disease obviously yeast and, and candida are part of this whole process all the time and it's not just the mouth it's the whole body so that's their main function is to oxidize and and, and cleanse that the, the organic diatomaceous earth and the xylitol, well, that, the diatomaceous earth that's in the powder is obviously silica, microfine silica, organic food grade silica that is very mildly abrasive, but it's only 3% in there. It's not like 70% abrasives of harsh silica like in toothpaste and all these things. 
So it does help remove stains, but it absorbs, it's highly absorbent. So it absorbs toxins, absor absorbs debris, and then you can ingest it because it's food still. And the xylitol and everything else help break down that, yeah. that uh, biofilm. So it's very yeah. deep cleansing, very deep um, healing, basically, in, in, in a way, that if you use it every day, it's totally safe and it's totally good. However, you would miss out on the beautiful nurturing activity of what's in the serum, which doesn't have the oxidizing. It's actually an antioxidant because we need to oxidize and then, anti and then turn off the oxidation. That's how human physiology works. That's how, why I created a system, not a product. Oh, well, I want to come on to the serum physiology. in a sec. But uh, let's, before, we, before we get into that, um, let's talk a little bit more about the mouth in general. Yes. I mean, I, I know you, you, know, um, you like to talk about the four M's, the mind, the microbiome, the mitochondria, and the mouth. Do you think that a lot of people don't focus enough on keeping their mind, their mouth healthy? And it's, it's an excellent question because it's exactly, to, in, my, in my mind, <laughs> excuse the pun here, in my mind, it's all the same thing because... These are all, all these four M's in, in what I call my system, the OHAC, the, the oral biohack, basically the OHAC of your portals. The O here stands for O, yes, oral, but O, opening. And O is a sphere, so because everything is organized as a sphere. In the macro, so it is in the micro, whatever is organized, energy field, anything that we observe, anything that, that functions is a sphere. So the sphere has openings. And the openings that energy forces, new energetic forces enter into this realm of, of the human being are only two directly that, that belong to us, our mind, which is our bigger sphere that we exist within, and our mouth, that's the portal to our body. So all health, all bodily, physical body, bodily health comes through the portal of the mouth. So whatever goes into your mouth or comes out of your mouth or goes, in, goes on inside your mouth, is directly what is controlling everything else that's happening inside your body. And of course, your mind as the other portal, the other sphere that exists within. And they're all activities, by the way. These are not things. These are activities. Everything is an interacting, networking uh, activity of, of multiple transactions of energies uh, happening all, all the time. And then you've got the mitochondria, which are the portal, the energetic portal within every cell that's ab constantly absorbing light, transforming energy, and and obviously signaling, it's, it's not just what's coming in, it's what's translated and then what's sent out. So the, the signaling that comes out of the mitochondria is controlling every, every other part of our cells. And of course the microbiome, it's not independent of us or dependent on us, it's interdependent with us. So it, it, it's doing its own thing that if we don't influence it, it is influencing us all the time. We have to, to collaborate symbiotically with that. So all of them are different portals, but they always coexist. And you've got to learn how to manage all these things all the time. If you it's, want to be, if you want to be a healthy. niche for you, isn't it? Because, um, <clears throat> because actually, you know, I, in this kind of biohacking kind of alternative health world, there are lots of people out there, but there's not really anybody doing the kind of thing that you do. And that's, that's why it's so great to kind of meet you and chat Thank to you. you because actually this is a, a Humble, great, yeah. you know, it's, it, there is so much importance that it is in kind of oral hygiene, but there's not really anyone focusing on it apart from you. Well done. Thank you. It's a good niche. <laughs> Thank you. And I've created this whole new system, which is like nothing else in the world, never has been, never is so far, because of this exact way I see, I see the world. It's not about making a better product or making a better this or making a better, it's about creating better outcomes, better awareness, uh, less fear, less beware, beware, and more be aware. Okay, what, what so, can I be aware of? Okay, this is not good. What can I do better? And instead of complaining, saying, okay, this is not good, this is not good. Well, okay, fine. How do we make better? Uh, and and so make it clients... easy and make it combinative, make it integrative. That's, that's the, the whole word, holistic, a whole person, a whole thing. So every part of the system makes the whole of you better. It's not, you know, a product that's better than another product. It's not about that at all. It's about Whatever you're doing, the whole thing has to make you better all the time. Otherwise, don't do it every day. Hey, we all do funny, funny stuff every single day of our lives, maybe, or, or sometimes. That's my business, your business. That's, that's private stuff. We all do crazy stuff, and we're allowed to because we're human. We're fallible humans. But in general, you can do that 20% of the time, and you, you, you'll be okay. As long as 80% of the time you're doing stuff that's balancing you back, 
pushing you all the way to the other side <clears throat> of well-being that when you repeat it daily, it, it makes the whole of you better. Your, your parasympathetic nervous system, your neurobiology, your mitochondria, your microbiome, like we just said, as well as whatever happens inside your math. So it's not about the math itself as a thing, it's the math as a portal to all of this. And including the microbiome, like the microbiome in the math is the one that is the master microbiome. It controls, it seeds, and it feeds all the microbiome that's inside your guts. Everybody's focusing on uh, leaky gut, leaky gut and microbiome imbalance in the guts. And I'm happy that they are now because 15 years ago, this was ridiculous to even talk about that stuff. You were a heretic as a doctor. <clears throat> um, when we spoke about that 15 years ago, other doctors were like, oh, what are you talking about? Blah, 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 all this woo stuff and now it's like it's standard of medicine now it's it's science it's research it's it's everywhere else yet it was always the truth and that's good that's great i'm happy about that however i've always been saying it and i'll say it again and again now the leak does not come from the guts sorry does not start in the guts of course it en ends up through the guts but it's it starts and is, is controlled by the leak of the mouth which is the top part of the gut simply the, the mouth is the top part of the gut so leaky mouth is the cause of leaky guts and leaky inflammation and leaky everything else. So <clears throat> control the leak of your mouth and you'll influence and direct and control the leak in your gut and everywhere, everywhere else. And all the microbiome that comes inside into the gut is from the mouth, period. From moment of birth until death, nothing goes into your guts un well, unless you have a fecal transplant, which is a whole different story <laughs> from the other side of your, of your guts. Everything that's inside your guts, including the microbiome itself and what feeds it and what seeds it, like I said, is from the mouth. It's the oral microbiome that is the master microbiome. The mouth is the portal to all human biological, so not biological, uh, body health. Because biology, like I said before, depends on your mind and your energy interactions with your microbiome and your mitochondria. There's a lot of fa other facts, uh, but biologically, it's all through the mouth. You mentioned uh, oral biohacking. Um, yes. People listening to this who are interested in kind of, you know, getting more healthy in their mouth and their mouth microbiome, as you said, mm -hmm. what are some things that people could start to do straight away, um, apart from actually clean their teeth for two minutes every morning and every evening? What are some things that people could just start to do now that would start oral biohacking successfully? I, I, I will say a few things that are really important to do and not to do, but I would like to just, just pinpoint what you just said now about brushing your teeth for two minutes in the morning and two minutes at night as the standard yeah, I'm, I'm indoctrinated feel, message feel, feel that free, we've all been given. To correct me. It's fine. No, I'm, I'm, not, no, I'm, I'm not correcting you. I'm correcting yeah. us because we okay, gave you yeah. that message and we still give ourselves and everybody else that, that message. It's, it's not, don't tell me it's more than two minutes a day. That's hard enough. <laughs> you will see the. Have you counted? Okay, let, let's come back to this to this point later because I will talk about my products <clears throat> later on. It changes everything. If you count, if you see the the method, I mean, you've tried the products and you love them, and I love that you love them. Thank you very much. Yeah. But I haven't shown you the whole methodology, the whole system. It's literally a whole system of use of being of a, a state of mind, a state of body you will not even count time. And if you did, you'll find that it's a lot longer than two minutes, but it's a two minutes of joy. Uh, sorry, it's, it'll be probably be five or seven minutes or whatever it is of joy, of a sensual experience, a sensory experience for your whole body rather than a chore. When it is a chore, two minutes is too long. And unfortunately, that's exactly what it has been so far. And I'm talking about as a profession. As it is. We give you detergents, we give you abrasives, minutes. we give you scrubbing agents, we give you rough brushes, we give you electric toothbrushes with, with EMF coming out of it and vibration in your head and all these freaky things. These are chores that disturb your body, your neurobiology, your, your, your activate your sympathetic nervous system. So of course two minutes is too long because you're, 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 you're not you personally, but we, and I have been doing that for years before that anyway, we're ag aggressors to our body. Well, tell, tell me then how night. five to seven minutes of joy on the your system. Tell yes. me, tell me how five to seven minutes could be a joy and not a chore because okay. it doesn't, I don't, I don't think I've got five to seven minutes to spare every morning and evening. Well, I that, remain that, to be that, convinced. That's the beauty of it, mate. 
shall I answer this question or finish answering the first question, which is th general biohacking things? Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm uh, sorry if I'm. Just I, I, I love it. Yeah. I, I love where yeah. we're going with all this. You can see we can the, go in all directions. The oral biohacking, I think, is good because you know, I mean, are things that people can do implement right now. And then, yeah, tell me about five minutes of joy. <laughs> okay, so uh, things that I I need people in this field, people who are listening to your podcast, are people like us who've been studying and learning. I'm not talking to somebody who just doesn't know what the hell I'm talking about now. Uh, one of the best pieces of advice that I, that I could give you, if, if you're seriously into biohacking and all that, other than cleaning out any toxic metals, and, and I don't want to talk about holistic dentistry as the practice of it today. That's a whole different subject. We can do a whole different podcast on that another day. But if I start to go there, we won't finish now. So, But just generally, find a holistic dentist who will help you clean up any obvious inflammations, disease, infections and chronic um, yeah. toxins in your mouth. I'm talking about root canals, I'm talking about uh, mercury amalgam, I'm talking about any other metals in your mouth, uh, and I mean any, not just mercury amalgam, because it's, well, yes, it is the most toxic and the most horrific, but there's others, uh, and an inflammation. So gum disease, inflammation in your mouth, that has to be treated ideally with lasers. So just remember, gum disease, chronic inflammation, the worst and most common chronic infection of human beings, best treatments, lasers, and then maintenance long-term, my holistic oral care system. So I'll just leave it at that. I don't want to go into depth about the dentistry now, but please okay, yeah, good. Yeah, seek yeah. out somebody like that um, as a professional, because these are things that need treatment, not you or I can fix them. I can't fix it at home, basically. <laughs> so that is professional. But at home, definitely do not eat more than, this is, again, general advice. There's a lot of details and a lot of other things, but you asked me the question, so I want to give the big picture. Do not eat more than three times a day of, of, any, of anything, basically. So don't have breakfast. Drink breakfast or, or drink something in the morning that ideally ketogenic, basically, uh, with some good fats in the morning. So fast for as long as you can and then eat two meals, maybe. And if you, if you snack, that's fine. It's, that's the third meal. But don't have three meals plus snacks. So do not overuse this. Never, ever, ever chew chewing gum. That is the stupidest, most horrific thing that we've ever created. And as a profession being sold to, we didn't create it. Professionals didn't create any. Professionals didn't create toothpaste. Professionals didn't create uh, Listerine. Professionals, they were, it's all marketing bullshit. Marketing companies, detergent manufacturers that then sold it, sold it to the professionals and bought them out and then made them sell it. So that, that's a whole, again, another story there. But um, so chewing gum, do not super activate your trigeminal nerve and your whole neural activity basically in your head so many times in a day. And, and chewing gum is horrible for that. You're, you're, you're way overusing your jaw muscles, your jaw joints, your teeth, but mainly you're hyperactivating your trigeminal all the time. Terrible, terrible, terrible. And of course, producing stomach acid when you chew the chewing gum, and then there's no food coming in, and hyperacidity, it, it's a huge disturbance. So no chewing gum, uh, no lemon juice in the morning. Actually, no lemon juice ever, unless it's a fun drink when you go out. I don't drink alcohol at all, so if I go to a restaurant and there's a bit of lemon in the water, I'll drink it, enjoy it. But at home, do not do lemon in the water. That is ridiculous. Do not drink kombucha all day long, uh, or any acidic drinks. Basically, Do not drink acidic drinks as health drinks, and I mean all and, and all of them. That's orange juice, lemon juice, uh, kombucha, any of that stuff. These are not daily health drinks. Like I'll hear a lot of people saying, wake up in the morning, first thing in the morning, have some apple cider vinegar or lemon juice. Terrible and disgusting and horrible, not just for your teeth, because it, citric acid is chelating age, it dissolves your teeth on contact, basically, start to dissolve your teeth. It's horrible for your whole body. No human being ever needs acid first thing in the morning. We need to activate alkaline flow. And lemon juice is just acid, citric acid, not vitamin C. The vitamin C is in the lemon peel, not inside the lemon juice. Uh, citric acid, uh, water, and sugar. That's all you're, you're drinking. That's ridiculous. So don't do that. Drink oils, drink fats. Yes. Induce ketosis, induce flow, 
that that's fine. Butter, ghee, uh, all cultures have have drunk something like that. Historically, no culture ever has drunk acid first thing in the morning. It's the stupidest thing. I don't know where that came from. But uh, okay. people drank ghee, butter, like we said, uh, olive oil in the Middle East and in Palestine and and then Greece and everywhere. They literally drink a shot of olive oil in the morning. Really? Yes. Wow. Oil, absolutely. Yeah. Olive yeah. oil uh, in India and, and Ayurveda. It's ghee. Uh, mid, a lot of other parts as well. In the Middle East, in the mountains, the whole bulletproof coffee thing came from the butter, the, the butter that they drink in the morning. So good fat in the morning, absolutely, go ahead. In whatever form that you like and can access and whatever, that's a whole different story. But not lemon juice, not, le- not orange juice in the morning, uh, not citric acid, and definitely not in kombucha as it's itself as well. Now it's being so commercialized, it just dissolves your teeth and dissolves your guts. It's just horrible stuff. It's supposed to be a shot of clean, well-made kombucha every now and then with a meal. That's how the, the Japanese drank it, not commercialized in bottles and just sip on it all day long. Because it's the same, same thing as alcohol or uh, as any alcoholic drink, which is all acid, because it's all fermented. So please don't, don't, don't do these things. These are just highly destructive. Uh, do alkalize a lot. Do stimulate your saliva, which is your parasympathetic nervous system. If you're salivating, you're in parasympathetic mode, period. And that's why my whole system is designed to activate and emulate and stimulate human saliva because I'm working on the whole neurobiology of the human being. So uh, if you're not salivating, your your mouth is dry, sympathetic shock, you're in, in, in some form of fear or stress or strain. So if anything that makes you stop salivating, including dehydration itself, that's uh, that's a sign of sympathetic right, activation, right. basically. That, you cannot, you cannot salivate. Unless you're in relaxed, feed, heal. Okay. That, that's so, one so of the first things that you'll notice other than feeling relaxed. Get thirsty. Yeah. 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 Okay. Right. <clears throat> Being thirsty is, is, is stressed. Having hydration, but you're shut down, your glands are shut down. You're, you're, you're in sympathetic shock. So always activate your vagus nerve in different ways, multiple times a day. Breathing is one of them, of course, and meditation. But the products that you put in should accentuate that, not kill that. Yeah, um, yeah, and yeah, yeah so th- these are core fundamentals, of course. There's yeah, more great. No, it's, in, it's, it's in core fundamentals, but from, from your perspective, which is like a kind of a more natural, holistic perspective, and that's, that's really interesting to hear. Just interrupting this podcast for one moment to tell you that it is brought to you by my podcast partners for June, Magnesium Breakthrough. If there is one mineral you should be worried about not getting enough of, it is magnesium. It is the body's master mineral, uh, powering over 300 critical reactions, including detox, very important, on topic for Zestology, fat metabolism, also on topic uh, for Zestology, and energy, definitely on topic for Zestology. Problem with magnesium is it's largely missing from soil in the US, in the UK, pretty much around the world and uh, estimates are that up to 80% of people might be deficient in magnesium and most supplements only have one or two forms of it but not magnesium breakthrough Um, and that's why I'm doing magnesium June taking magnesium every day during June and taking my partner uh, magnesium breakthrough every day during June um, in magnesium June snappy title hope you're enjoying it and I'd love to hear from you if you're doing it as well Um, mag breakthrough uh, is uh, where you can find the uh, supplement magbreakthrough.com slash Zestology. You'll save up to 40% off select packages of Magnesium Breakthrough. And that deal is only available on that website. It's not available on Amazon. It's not available on the company's own website. Um, it's magbreakthrough.com slash Zestology. Get involved in Magnesium June like I am. Use the code ZESTOLOGY10. And uh, yeah, I'd love to hear from you if you're enjoying the magnesium. And you may well find that seven different forms of magnesium is better absorbed than one or two. It's magbreakthrough.com slash ZESTOLOGY. Now, back to the show. Uh, So do we go from the oral biohacking? And I know that was basics, but it sounded you know, actually kind of very, very useful to me and not Thank necessarily you. stuff that I've always heard before. Then what about this five to seven minutes of joy? Um, oh, five minutes, <laughs> of, seven minutes of joy. Do. Fantastic. Let me tell you about that. So first thing in the morning, 
I, I told you just a minute can, ago. Can I make it like a, a minute and a half of joy? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so uh, what I said not to do in the morning, like don't drink lemon juice. I'm saying, only saying this because it is repeatedly given out as advice by yeah. hopefully well-meaning people. And like, this is crazy. Um, so th- that's what not to do. But hey, what to do? You know, I'm not here to tell people, don't do, don't do. Like, well, give me an option. Give me a choice that makes sense to me. Because I don't want people ultimately to believe me. I want them to believe with me once it makes sense to them. If it doesn't make sense to you, then you don't have to do anything I say. You don't have to believe anything I say. So first thing in the morning, you wake up, you're naturally dry because you've been sleeping. So your, your whole body metabolism is, is, is down. It's been cleansing. It's been, hopefully your mat has, was shut. Oh, another biohacking tip, very important. Uh, if you have any doubt, <clears throat> or not sure whether you math breathe or not at night, as in your math is open. Well, if you snore, that's an immediate sign that, that, that your math is open. So close your math, shut your math all night long. And if you're not sure, just do it anyway. Tape your mouth, make sure, make sure your math is shut when you're sleeping. So you're breathing through your, through your nose, which is very important, but also you're keeping your math as moist as possible. Because naturally you will dry down a little bit because your, your glands have shut down. But now if your math is open, everything desiccates. Mucosa, the inside of our mouths, that makes up sort of 80% of the mouth, your, the skin inside your lips and, in, and your cheeks and down your throat and under your tongue and all that, that's the same mucosa that goes all the way down to the other side, the other, the other hole basically. And a lot, lot more crap goes in and out of the bigger hole on top of the mouth than the other little hole at the, at the bottom. So watch the crap that goes and happens on that top hole there. Um, it doesn't like to be dry. It hates being dry. It, it breaks down. It physically breaks down, just opens up and breaks down. So all the, micro, the microbiome, good and bad, can now become toxic and all these things because so everything's leaking inside there. So shut your mouth, wake up in the morning, your mouth should be shut. And during the daytime as well, it should be shut anyway, except when you're speaking or eating. Um, having said that, you're still a little bit more dry. You need to activate your flow. It's always about that, that flow. And I'm talking biologically and metaphorically and everything. The flow, the flow, the flow. Because this one you can quote me on. What flows grows and what stagnates disintegrates. Period. That's everything in life. We're a flowing. If something is alive, it's only called alive. It can only because it's a flowing bioenergetic field, basically. If it's not flowing, it's not alive. Period. So let's manage that flow. That's the way it is. I'm here to manage my flow for my own benefit and help other people with it. Wake up in the morning, first thing to do, drink a glass of water. It should be by your bed, ideally a sealed glass or, or a bottle so it's, it's closed, so it's not dusty all night long or whatever, but anyway, just a clean glass of water. That's the first thing you do. Get out of bed, have a little stretch. All animals do that. I'm not a, I'm not a, uh, uh, a big fan of jumping or, or putting on your shoes and running out, of, running out of the house as soon as you get out of bed. I think that's crazy. That's Again, that's not the way we're designed. You should get into flow slowly. You should not be jumping on a trampoline. Some people have a trampoline by the bed and they go, eh, jump, 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 jump. That's, <laughs> is this all part of the five to seven minutes of joy? Uh, it is actually. It is. Oh, good. It's okay. technically, yeah, good. It technically well, is. That's good because but, like I've wasted about a minute and a half already. I'm doing a bit of a stretch and <laughs> a glass of water. This is excellent. So you just get, get out of bed, have a glass of water, do a couple of stretches in bed itself just next to your bed. Just, it's just stretching. 20 seconds, 30 seconds. It's just like a dog or a cat. You see your dog, your cat, your pet stretching before they leave the bed. And where are you going to go from there? To the bathroom. That's what we all do. You're either going to go sit in the toilet for a few minutes or you're going to go in the shower. This is exactly the, the, the beginning of the point of cleansing, healing, inducing the flow. So you put the alkaline math rinse. So you, my whole system is unique and the patent, well, the patent, I let it drop now because it's useless anyway. I even surpassed my own patents. But the, 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 the whole thing is the sequence. So alkaline math rinse, put that in your mouth. As soon as you enter, you shove a little bit in your mouth. You're sitting in the bathroom for a few minutes. You're in the shower for a few minutes. You're cleaning and you're accentuating the flow, and you're alkalizing your math, activating parasympathetic right there. You're not doing anything else. You're going to poop anyway, right? You're going to shower anyway. This should be already in there. You'll feel it cleansing. That's that's joyful. That's joyful. Uh, Totally. Totally. And because it's parasympathetic and juicy, it's joy. What's after the alkaline mouthwash? That's it. It's joyful. And of course, anything you swallow is safe because it's food grade, but most of it you rinse, 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 and then you'll spit out. And you'll notice you only put a little bit in your mouth, 
And as you start to rinse with it for a, min for a minute or even less, it increases in volume because you're salivating. It's inducing your own saliva to flow. So suddenly you've got this large volume of liquid of oxidizing, healing, cleansing um, uh, combinations of ingredients inside your mouth that's cleaning you already, activating your parasympathetic flow. You're cleaning yourself. You're defecating, excreting, or you're washing your body. It's all cleaning, self-care, self-care. In a private environment, I don't think so. you're any more private or exposed in your, in, your, in your bathroom. So use that time to care for yourself and your body and your mind rather than make it all a chore, basically. Uh, don't take your, your, your phone into the bathroom, especially not in the morning and, and last thing at night. Don't, don't disturb your energy field. You're just getting that flow going. The phone stay out. Uh, so what comes after the mouthwash? <clears throat> so after the mouthwash, you're going to dip this by energetically balanced gum and toothbrush, the world's first thing of its, of its kind. The thing itself is by energetically balanced the piece of wood and how it's it's not fumigated like all other other woods this is heat treated it's energetically and ergonomically designed you hold it not like a like a, a gun you're not threatening yourself like like people are taught to you're actually holding it like a a piece like a, an art brush so, so when you, you brush your teeth, like you hold this, your toothbrush. That's it. Because obviously most people are listening to this rather than watching it. So I just want to explain you're not you're not gripping your toothbrush, you are caressing it like a paintbrush. Thank you. Thank you. It is this one is specifically designed different so that it rolls in your hands. It is, like I said, made with love and intention. It's super soft bristles because it's the world's first gum and toothbrush. Because I don't want you to brush your teeth. I want you to brush your gums. And your teeth. I want you to massage your gums and induce the blood flow in your gums and apply healing agents to your gums and food and nurture, not aggress and not attack your body with the brush and what's on the brush and how hard the brush is and, and this and that and everything else. So you, you're actually, so the brush, either the serum, which is full of organic oils and organic xylitol and biominerals and vitamin D3 and vitamin K2. Yeah. So all oh, this, what I just said now stuff. is food. I love it. Yeah. yeah, so it's food, <clears throat> or every now and then you'll be using the powder as we talked about earlier. It doesn't have the vitamin D3 and vitamin K2 because it doesn't have the oils, but it's deep cleansing. So you'll alternate between the serum and the powder, not on the same day, but every now and then. Always the math rinse first, and then serum or powder on the super soft gum and toothbrush. You're massaging and caressing. Obviously, there's a technique to this. I stand up and I show you how I center myself in the here and now. I lock one oh, I'm conscious on my of the back. fact we've only got about four minutes left. I know, so I know. So I can't show, and, and even on the video here, I can't show you this whole thing. I'll show it on another video. But you're basically anchoring yourself. Simple. Anchor yourself. That's what I want to say. Massage your gums in a jiggle and wiggle motion. Do not scrub. Do not flick. Just gently massage the whole time. Let the brush fall in between. It has to be super soft. If it feels hard on your gums, it is hard. It is bad. Don't use electric toothbrushes because there's too much EMF, too much abrasion, too much vibration. Don't disturb your energy field. And just massage, massage, massage. Halfway through, you swap hands, and suddenly your whole neurobiology is changed now. You're creating new neural connections. You are activating your neurophysiology. You're focusing head up always, not head down. You know how we always lean? To, People are leaning so that they can spit out this gunk, this toxic gunk they've just put in their mouths, which is all toothpaste, including all the natural ones. They're just shitty uh, abrasives and, and detergents, basically, whether it's organic or not. I don't care. Detergent is a detergent. You shouldn't put detergent into your body all day long. But anyway, we lean forward. We're drooling this gunk out. We're waiting to rinse it out. That's disturbing. With this one, you're standing back. You're anchored, head up, breathing the whole time activating parasympathetic basically, and you're massaging all this. There's no foam, no gunk, and your body senses food. Nutrition has come into your mouth. So the sensory experience is food. You're breathing and you're massaging, improving blood flow everywhere, salivating even more. This is a state of joy that you'll, you will not count time. You'll feel, wow, I am healing. I am cleaning. I'm breathing. I'm, I'm joyful. <clears throat> I am you started before that and now joy. suddenly... Suddenly, five, seven minutes have gone by. Wow. And, and you, yeah. you're, you're in a state of joy. You walk out of there. You didn't just clean your mouth. You cleaned your mind. You cleaned your body. And you've meditated already.
Very good. I, I mean, I'm, it's it's quite late here, and I know it's very early with you. So um, I know we've only got a couple more minutes, but um, I'm I'm off to bed soon, and then tomorrow morning there's going to be five to seven minutes of joy. I'm going to be getting full because I've got all that stuff downstairs. It's going to be it's going to be great. So thank well you for that. Now, before you go, Doctor Hisham, there's one question I've asked everyone: Is that what is one book that you would recommend, and one tip for living with more energy and vitality? Obviously, you've come you've come up with lots of tips already, but um, what's one book that's had it could be any think could be a fiction book non-fiction book something you've read recently um and one tip for living with more energy and vitality the book the book bit is a bit hard to just say the one book because there's so many amazing as as you know i'm you already set, i'm sure you already set up every <laughs> every one of your uh, um guests with with this question like hey which one should i say without being biased so yeah. maybe i'll go super biased and go hey my book was, was great <laughs> my first book <laughs> 20 leadership about human leadership and human unity um because that uh, joking aside actually it, it literally was a turning point for me when i sat down and wrote that book because I, I didn't think that i I wanted to write a book. I, I knew I was a good speaker, a good teacher, this, 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 but I never wrote a book. So I didn't even know anybody would want to read it. How do you write it? Da, da, da. So I had to learn very quickly and just trust in my coach and mentor, Bob Proctor at the time, uh, that I can do it and that my message is worth listening to. So, and when I did it, it became a bestseller um, on, on Amazon and it's amazing and it's it encouraged me to write more and I, I will be writing more. So it's not just what's in the book. And of course, I, yes, I am biased. I admit it. Great stuff in the book and all that, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about how that book has changed my life is because of the process that I went through. So that would be the most honest answer I can give you because there's okay. many other great books that I, I can't even pick just the one. Um, what about one tip then for living with more energy? One tip. Always live with the intent of becoming more and more aware rather than becoming fearful. So don't be aware. Be aware. Uh, always seeking knowledge, seeking more. It's natural. It's not about being greedy. Greed is I want to take away from others for myself. That's greed. But wanting more, to earn more, to learn more, to be more so that I could serve more, that's the most important thing. So always aim to look okay. at the world and to the world better. Uh, feel about yourself, internal, your internal world, and about the outer world better, and thereby you will be better and better. So look better, feel better, be better. That's my advice. Very nice. Dr. Hisham, it's a pleasure to talk to you. It's, it's definitely my bedtime now. One minute Enjoy. past my bedtime, so, so I'm going to say goodbye. Um, just before we go, though, where can people find out more than about you? And I think in the UK... You are setting up some kind of discount code, aren't you, for Zestology listeners? For uh, correct, for, if I for may five be. to seven minutes of joy, Abs every morning and every night, setting you up for the rest of your day and the rest of your sleep. Absolutely. Um, so for the UK, our products are sold through our good friends who also sell the Bulletproof Coffee in the UK. So they're the agents for Bulletproof Coffee and yeah. the Doctor Hisham's self. holistic yeah, great care system in the UK. Correct, functional self. So functionalself.co.uk, Warren, Brad, and their team, amazing guys. They're actually Kiwi boys, they by are. the way, but anyway, that's a different they're, story. They're lovely, lovely They're guys, lovely yeah. people, and they've become good friends. And uh, we are setting up, with Tony's permission, I've asked them to set up a, a code for all Tony's listeners, Tony10, T-O-N-Y-10. If you put in that code on functionalself.co.uk, You'll get a 10% discount on your first order, no matter what it is, whether it's just my oral care products, the holistic Dr. Hisham's holistic oral care products, or any of the other stuff that they sell on there, which is the Rosita and the uh, Bulletproof range in the UK, um, actually in, in Europe as well. Amazing stuff. So that's that. If you want to know more about me personally or just learn about the products themselves, um, and if you're not in the UK and you want to order them from outside of Europe, then it, it's all the same. It's Dr hishams.nz d-r-h-i-s-h-a-m-s dot n-z that's about the, the holistic oral care system and then if you just type in drhisham.com or Dr. Hisham, anything else you'll find me and all the other right. stuff that I do which is dental and oral and writing and that other stuff anyway that's good yeah I'm, and most of our listeners are around the world anyway so rather than here so that's that's great and i'm sure they will look forward to finding you thank you so much for coming on zestology and getting up so early pleasure brother that. 
Um, but you still managed to have time for your um, paddling pool plunge. Um, really? I know it's not a paddling pool, really, but that's what I'm calling it. Um, it's lovely to talk to you, and we'll we'll speak to you. Well, hopefully, we'll I'll, I'll see you in September, but but we don't know about that one yet. So we'll um, if not, then we'll connect again on here very shortly. Absolutely, Tony. I thank you, and I'm grateful to have met you and to be with you on this uh, journey. And hope we, not. I hope I know we'll meet again, and again, even not even if not in person soon in September, at least in mind and spirit, and maybe do some more interviews like this about other subjects. Um, you bet. Uh, yeah, absolutely. There's so much to talk about and so much to share. So much love to share. Thank you, brother. There is. There is. Thanks again. Thanks very much to Dr. Hisham. Thank you for listening as well. Make sure you check out his system. Um, and if you do it in the UK, uh, you can go to Functional Self and um, they will sort you out. And there's a Zestology code as well. Uh, yeah, really enjoying using Dr. Hisham's system. And it, it did feel pretty joyful this morning. Um, lovely feedback and response to my hacks feature last week. If you haven't had a chance to listen to this already, then do go back to last week's episode and um, I cover coffee, workouts, food gadgets, unusual food, supplements and quite a lot more and I'd love to hear what you think and, and whether you enjoyed it. Um, I talked about coffee machines and coffee beans and, and, and various workouts. I've been using Qigong and the Carol Bike and P-Volve and the Class, different blenders, different unusual foods that's been going on during lockdown, tiger nuts and yogurt. Yep, that's my life now. I am officially a yogurt maker. You are listening to a podcast recorded by somebody who makes yogurt. Did you ever think you'd do that? Well, yes, you are doing that. <laughs> um, look, as always, thank you so much for listening to Zestology. Got to remind you about my podcast partners. Um, another great hack, which features on that podcast as well. It is Magnesium and Mag Breakthrough. Magnesium Breakthrough, fantastic product. It's not one type of magnesium or two types. It's seven types. And Magnesium Breakthrough has been a huge success for this company. They, uh, Bioptimizers have been selling it faster than they can make it so at times it runs out it's not run out at the moment though um, and they are back in stock and if you go to magbreakthrough.com slash zestology there's a deal there that is available nowhere else um, use the code zestology10 you can save up to 40 percent off select packages of magnesium breakthrough i'm taking this as well all the way through june it's magnesium june and uh, yeah, as I say, it's not one or two types of magnesium. There's seven different types of magnesium in every capsule. So you're getting all your magnesium needs and you probably need it, especially in summer when the weather's hot and you're sweating more. You need it even more then. So head to magbreakthrough.com slash Zestology. Use the code Zestology10. You won't find that deal on Amazon or even the company's own website. It's definitely the most effective magnesium supplement that I've used and I'm very proud and very pleased that they're my podcast partners for uh, for June on Zestology because it's just totally on brand isn't it it's just brilliant to be able to have podcast partners that um, that are so kind of in line with my values and the kind of thing that I like doing and talking about Magnesium June it's a working title if you've got any better ideas for what I should call it then let me know Okay, that's it for Zestology. Have a um, lovely, sparkly, clean teeth week and I'll see you next time.